Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Stunning day for a little event like that, but tomorrow they'd be blown off the ice. Wouldn't totally they? different tomorrow. Yeah, I skied the whole day today. Right. It was beautiful. There was no wind and there was sun, but as you said, tomorrow's totally different. We do have some snow and ice moving in and some rain, but it seems that wind is the biggest issue. So tomorrow morning, yes, there will be some snow covered roads. There could be an inch or two in spots, especially the mountains. Then it goes over to a little of that ice. I mean, we've done this so much the last couple of weeks. It's just routine. Most of tomorrow will just have some rain going on. I don't even think it rains the whole day, so the wind is clearly the biggest problem here tomorrow night into Monday. Here's the sunset over Lake Champlain, just a gorgeous one out there. 32 in Burlington, that's not bad. The wind is calm still, so a treat this evening. 30 in Plattsburgh, 29 in Saranac Lake. We have 28 in Lebanon and 30 in Springfield. So this is Storm Tracker. Had some of those clouds earlier. They gave way to the blue sky. Now we have some of that mix for Pennsylvania, and that's what's on the approach. There's really two distinct areas that we're watching. We have the blizzard up in the Midwest, and then we have some tornado action, tornado warnings in Nashville, in the Nashville area. Now, all of this moisture is coming north. We're not going to get much snow, but here it is tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. on the very front edge. It's just cold enough for a quick inch or two not for everyone, but especially for the mountains tomorrow morning. And look how it warms up. We just go over to rain for much of tomorrow. And then tomorrow evening, the wind direction changes to the northwest. It gets colder. Then we go back over to snow showers tomorrow evening. But that is when the wind really starts to whip out there. And there will be some mountain snow on Monday. That's not the significant thing on Monday. It's the wind. So in terms of snow accumulation tomorrow, one to three for some of the mountains, not very much. It should get washed away by the rain. We will add some more snow in the mountains on Monday. But I want to show you the wind here because the wind is the concern. There will be some gusts of 40 miles per hour tomorrow in the mountains, but tomorrow is not the big deal for the wind. It's Monday morning through the day Monday. This is 4 a.m. Monday morning with gusts to 50 and 60 miles per hour. This is 7 a.m. on Monday. There it is, 55 in Saranac Lake. Now the gusts will be a little less in Vermont, more like up to 50 miles per hour, but that's still enough to have some power outages. So the whole region has the potential for some outages as we go through Monday. Now the high wind warning is over northern New York. That's where the greatest concern is for gusts to 60 miles per hour. It's a slightly lesser wind advisory for Vermont where the gusts could be up to 50. But again, overall, everyone has the chance for some outages and we've painted Monday morning and Monday PM in red for a high risk for some of those outages because of the wind. So it's quiet to start the night. The clouds come in the mix by morning going over to rain tomorrow. Highs up near 40, so a lot of melting. And then very late tomorrow, the wind will pick up. So we've shaded Monday in red with the alert icon because some limbs will come down, some trees will come down, some lines will come down. There will also be some mountain snow on Monday, but that'll just be run of the mill mountain snow. A little breezy is still on Tuesday, but look at the big difference, 13 for the high on Tuesday, 16 Wednesday. Good news there is there should be sun mixed in most of those days, the middle part of next week. There may be a mix a week from now next Saturday.